me for a driving blog of Summer's Corner. Um, Summer's Corner is a great new community that is on the opposite side of Somerville as Cane Bay and Nexton and Karen's Crossroads. So we're going to take a tour of Summer's Corner today. As we first drive down the road here, Buffalo Lake is going to be on your left hand side. It's a gorgeous lake. Um, a lot of uh, kayaking and canoeing can be done in this lake. Um, really nice picturesque lake. Um, the other side of the road is not actually Buffalo Lake. It's owned by the RVs, the RV park, but Buffalo Lake is on your left hand side as we drive in. Um, you will see the other lake on the right hand side as we keep going here. But Summers Corner is a cool community because it is kind of a new area. It's a newish area. It's, up, it's kind of up and coming in that. And there's a lot of new development going on. There is some pre-existing homes that we'll take a look at, but it's kind of a one-stop shop, which is cool because there's a school in here, there's a performing arts center, you have a middle school, elementary school, and a performing arts center all in the um, area here. And you also have a 55 plus community. So it's a kind of a one-stop shop for a community. And it has all the feels of Next and Cane Bay in that, but it's on the other side of, of um, Somerville. So let's take, let's take a drive together right here. But as you can see, there's a lot of, they keep the greenery here, they, um, there's a lot of trees and that they don't tear down all their, they don't cut down all the trees to develop here, which is a, a nice feature because you have the greenery, you have a lot of the um, feel of nature around as well. As we are first coming up here, this is the big, big debate here. This is Publix. Um, it's been a bit of a debacle. Publix has been saying they've been coming in, they ha are going to be developing here for a while and bringing the store here, but this has been a huge process they it's they say it's still coming soon but who knows but it should be there within the next year or two Publix right on the corner there but as we go by here there is a nice right over here this is the school area right here this is Rawlings we're gonna be passing Rawlings school performing arts school on the left hand side here and then we're gonna come up and spin around in the 55 plus community Horizons um, really the thing about Horizons is it's really affordable homes in here, well-priced homes. I've done a couple videos on Horizons and you can get a lot of bang for your buck in here. You can really get nice homes for the pricing. I've sold a couple in here and my clients that I've sold to are really, really happy about living in there. Um, we will be talking about the amenity center that they're building in Summer's Corner though. Well, we'll talk about that. And if it's optional, if it's if you have to join the club, but this is Horizons right here as you pull in. Um, we're not going to go back there in this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit. It's a really nice community. Um, the It's picturesque back in there. You like drive through this tunnel area. There's ponds on each side and then you drive back and there's really nice homes. But we're coming back to the school area here. We're going to drive around. This I, I like doing these types of videos because I like giving... I'm from, I, I'm from Buffalo, New York. We moved down over two years ago and my realtor did a great job of showing us the area like this because it's hard when you're out of state to see the area. But this is Rollins, Rollins School right here, Performing Arts School, really nice school, as you can see. Um, really sought after school, it's, it's Dorchester Schools, which is a very sought after school district. As you can see, a really, really nice school here. Um, performing arts school. So if your kids are into the arts, it's something that you can look into for sure. And it's nice to have it right in the community right here. All right, we're pulling through. Um, we are pulling in, we're gonna pull up into the older section here of Summer's Corner. So these are a lot of pre-existing homes. There was four or five different builders that have built in here, but these are the ones that have been here a little longer. Um, really nice homes. Uh, you'll, you'll get a feel of the porches, you'll get a feel of the little courtyards and the different areas, the green spaces. There's a lot of green spaces around Summer's Corner. Just a really, really nice area. And then you'll see to the left-hand side, there's a little meeting place. They are, they are bringing a different restaurant in here. Um, there's just some more development coming in and it's a really up and coming spot where people really like to live in Summer's Corner. Um, and it's cool because I did talk about the Publix, but you are also close to downtown Somerville. Here's the little area here where they are bringing a restaurant in. There was a rumor about a couple different restaurants that are going in here. They haven't truly decided, but that uh, used to be a coffee shop. Now they're turning it into a restaurant, but they haven't decided what they're putting in yet, but they are, 
they are putting something in there, which is a good sign. But what I was saying is uh, you are close to, you're about 10, 15 minutes from downtown Somerville, um, historic Somerville, it's called as well. Um, there is an Earth Fair, there's an Aldi's. Um, you're also close to a Walmart here. So you're not, you're on the other side of Somerville, but you're not in the middle of nowhere. There are stores in that, They're, they are developing. But let's drive down the road here. This um, will show you some of the pre-existing houses that I was talking about. Gorgeous houses. You can see the porches, the just Southern style homes. Um, really cool feel in this neighborhood. And the, the grass areas, there's sidewalks on both sides. Um, golf carts all over the place, which is always a nice feel, but it's, it's just a really cool area to be in and a nice, nice, um, nice community. Uh, they also have a dog park coming up on the right hand side, um, but homes throughout. The one complaint they do get is that there isn't a lot of pools in the community and they are a little smaller, but we're going to look at the um, giant amenity center that is being built that should be built within the next two years. That's another thing with the timing. It's hard to tell you exactly when it's going to be built, but as you see these houses there, Southern style houses, really nice houses and a lot of nice pre-existing um, pre-owned homes that go for sale in here in Summer's Corner. But as we come up the dog park, there's a little pond area on the right. Uh, I always do the wrong one on the right hand side. I'm not going to do the arrows, but there's a pond area. There's a dog park that we're passing. And then we're going to go into a couple of the neighborhoods that are building that have a new construction going on. So as we drive down the road here, we are going to take a right. The amenity center is on the left hand side there. We'll come back to that um, giant amenity center coming in. Um, but let's take a right down here. Let's go down here. And this is one of the new build communities that they are building right up here. And this one is, gotta get the sign first. This is Sweetgrass. Now, as we pull into Sweetgrass here, the homes in here range from about 350 to 450, all different sizes. There's, there's a bunch of different models in here. Um, the model park we're actually going to pass and it's, I would love to, if you want to reach out to me, you can shoot me a text. We can set up a time to do a zoom call. I like doing FaceTimes where I walk through the homes for you, give you a feel of the home. Uh, if you want to arrange that, feel free to text the number on the screen here. Um, no pressure, um, no obligation. I, I just like helping people. I like giving them my story about moving down with my wife and four kids from Buffalo, New York. First of all, my name is Dave Broom. If I haven't mentioned that, I'm a realtor. I'm a local realtor down here. And my wife and I and our four kids moved down to the Somerville area uh, over two years ago now. Um, it was tough to make the decision. It took us a long time to decide to move, but we didn't like New York anymore. So we ended up moving down. Absolutely love it. We love um, our kids being able to get outside all the time. But if you want to just have a conversation with me, feel free to uh, reach out. But I'd love to, I'd love to show you Summer's Corner. This is a really cool up and coming neighborhood. And I would love to give you a little tour of it, one-on-one -on -one tour, but feel free to reach out. Numbers right on the screen, but let's continue the tour here. You can see the homes are gorgeous in here. Um, really Southern style homes. They're not all the same. There's different colors. There's different styles. Um, and the the inside is where the charm they really show the charm with these lennar homes and they have custom built homes on the inside so getting a tour of the inside is really really important to do so you can see how different these homes really are um, i like the one there's double porches there's the ones without porches ones with just uh, the single porch but it's all different types of homes and very affordable homes in this priced right homes i should say Okay, then we're coming up to the amenity center here. I'm going to put also put on the screen, but I'll come up to the sign here. This is a giant amenity center that they're building. Um, it's going to be, it, it's right here. They're, they're moving some dirt around, but it's going to pop up on the screen. You can just see the resort style pool. They're just bringing a lot into this area and it's going to be a really nice, um, a huge amenity center because so many homes are being built in here. Um, and if they're, I think they're given the option that you don't have to join the club if you already have a pre-existing home, but new homes after the club is built, I think they might be having you buy the, they are having you buy the, into the club and being a member of the club, but there's different options. We'll explore all those options. But as we pull up here, there's another neighborhood we're pulling up to. Okay. This is a, a, a Zalia Ridge. I think so. I think it is. There's so many neighborhoods, it's hard to keep track. But this one, I think, is Azalea Ridge. It's on both sides of the road. 
As we pull into Azalea Ridge here, you can see these are even a little different style um, homes in here, a lot of pre-existing homes in here. And just really nice setting again as we pull in, you can see the trees, you'll see um, the double porches, the styles. This is the style of Summer's Corner here. Really cool style. Let me fix this a little bit, up there. there we go. Okay, but you can see just even straight ahead, this white, this one straight ahead, the double porches. Um, just gives you that Southern feel and really, really nice houses as we drive around the neighborhood here. When you drive in here, it's just like, it, this isn't the neighborhood that you see in, well, I mean, look at this tree right here. You don't see this type of neighborhood everywhere and it, it um, it's really good to get down here and see it in person. That's a really cool, it's a really good idea to come down, see it, feel it, taste it, experience everything that Summer's Corner and Somerville and the area has to offer. So it's really, really good idea to come on down. But first is to do the zoom and see if it is an area that you are interested in. But as we keep driving around here, you'll see, as we keep, keep driving here, you'll see even more gorgeous homes here, the double porches, the scenery around, just a really nice area as we drive. And this area in general is, uh, you can get to Charleston in about 30, 30 minutes from here. Um, you can get to the beaches in 40 minutes, so it's a really prime location. We're pulling up the, the Azalea Ridge is also on the right-hand side up here, but it's just a really up-and-coming, nice neighborhood, priced right. So one thing with Lennar, some people like Lennar, some people don't like Lennar, but they do price their houses right, and you'll be able to get some homes that are priced correctly in these neighborhoods. Especially if you go with new construction, we're gonna come up here to more new construction homes. There's incentives in that that you can get, but they do price their homes well, and you can get homes that are more affordable than other builders, I will, I will say that. These are, this is where the models used to be right up here. Um, but you'll see the cool, the cool thing is the parking on the side here, but you can see the styles of the homes. Is it, this is still Azalea Ridge, it's a giant neighborhood. So the one thing with the Publix, they're waiting, they were waiting until more and more people were moving in here. So the neighborhood is getting big enough to support building a Publix, which is, which is nice, which is a good sign. Then they're bringing in the giant amenity center. So there's different things coming in that are a really good sign in this neighborhood. But we'll, we're gonna drive by a cool playground area in a minute. And just the open spaces are nice. The, it's just a neighborhood feel. One thing I love about these neighborhoods is if you have kids, especially, and you're moving to a new area, your kids, it's really easy for your kids to make friends, for you to make friends and to um, get acclimated to the area and make friends and meet people. It's very easy to meet people. You go to the playground like this playground right here. You meet people, you start talking, where are you from? There's a lot of people from different areas and you just get talking and you meet a lot of people. Since we moved down two years ago, we've met dozens of families and just gotten to know other people that have moved to the area from different um, spots in the country. It's a really popular spot to move because of different things like um, politics or the weather or different things like that. People like moving to this area. All right, as we're, as we're driving by, this is the playground I was talking about. I was getting all turned around. Sometimes I drive through these neighborhoods and I get turned around. I don't know where I am, get a little lost. It happens. Well, this is a nice little pond area up here. And I saw a meme uh, the other day. It was a guy talking about Florida, how to tell if there's water or if there's gators in the water, but it also applies to South Carolina. You walk up to the water, you feel it. If there's water, there's probably a gator in it. But that obviously doesn't apply to every body of water. There's not gators in it, but just be aware there is gators in a lot of these wa the water around here. And quick story, as we see some of these cool houses over here, um, we were walking up in Cane Bay in the HOA space. There's a lot of pond areas. Um, I was walking with my kids and we look in the water. There's a gator about, there's, there was a baby one like this big, just staring at us. I kind of charged at it and it, it swam away, but you need to be careful. Be careful by water down here. There, there's gators in the water down here. But as we drive around, you can see some more in Azalea Ridge here, some gorgeous houses in here. This is a good time um, to tell you, I love doing videos like this. I love showing people, especially the people that are out of state, uh, all the different areas around here. So um, if you wanna see more videos like this, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. 
on this on this video so that if this helps my channel grow and it also um, will notify you when I put new videos on it. I have I put two to three videos on every single day. I'm um, sorry about the hands in the camera there, but it happens. But um, I put I've been putting more and more videos on showing the area, highlighting the area, giving you a visual of the area so you can see the area. It's hard to know where you want to move and what the area looks like if you can't make it down here. And planning a trip is can be expensive, so seeing it like this is a really good way to do it and getting that feel for the area and see oh this is a neighborhood i might want to live in so this is a good way to do it get some visuals a little driving tour you're basically driving around the air you're driving around the area without having to drive around the area you do have to listen to me talk which can all right the last neighborhood we're going to tour in we're coming up to is heron's walk um, homes range from about 400 to four hundred fifty thousand dollars. There's incentives with the new construction, is that in that as well? But you can see more southern style homes. Uh, there's some with garages attached, some with garages in um, detached, like in the back of the house. So there's different styles in that. But a lot of different. There's uh, different homes to walk through in that in here. Different models in that, but in different styles. But you can just see that this is another neighborhood that is. They're, they are expanding in Summer's Corner. They're, built, they're building more and more. But Summer's Corner overall is an amazing, cool, very cool neighborhood to live in because it's got the Southern charm. It has the Publix coming in. It has the schools right in the neighborhood. It has the giant amenity center. It has the 55 plus community. So if you're looking to move you and your family and your parents want to come down, Summer's Corner is definitely a cool option for you because it has the giant amenity center this that is is a resort style amenity center coming in as we drive by some of these cool houses um here in this this neighborhood but um the giant amenity center is coming in um resort style you saw it on the screen there they're putting so much into it it should be done in the next couple of years so you have that you have um the 55 plus community so if you want to move down with if your parents want to move down with you or your in-laws they want to move down and be closer to the kids you have the 55 plus community you can golf cart all around the neighborhood there's a Publix coming in there the affordability of these houses really really it's a really good time to get in here while they're still doing new construction uh because of all the incentives and the pricing that you can get with the new construction but feel free if you um if you want to learn more about summer's corner feel free to reach out shoot me a text right on the number on the screen here we can set up a time to do a zoom call um, i can tell you everything you want to know i can tell you it keeps cutting out uh, but i can tell you everything you want to know about somerville about living close to charleston about the beaches i got a lot of videos on my channel about beaches feel free to reach out. I, I, we can just have a conversation. I like talking to people. I like telling people, if you don't like your state, you can move to a state that you like, whether it's politics, whether it is warm weather, whatever it is, um, there is a state like South Carolina, the weather is gorgeous. Does it get hot in the summer? Yes, it gets hot in the summer, but beaches you get close to water in the summer june july august yes it gets hot but there's pools in most of these neighborhoods there's the beach charleston's such a cool city to live by it's Dan there's daniel island there's mount pleasant all within 40 40 minutes or less to get to um, you're also close to columbia which is a cool city to live, to live by you're close to Myrtle beach there's just so many things within driving distance even getting to disney world is six hours you can take a weekend trip to Disney World. Um, there's Savannah. There's just so many cool things around this area. I didn't even talk about North Carolina, Charlotte. There's different areas in North Carolina as well. But it's just, it's such a cool, lo um, cool location because you can get to so many places within, within a short drive. I mean, six hours is not a short drive to Disney World, but you can get to Savannah within a couple hours. You can get to Hilton Head. You can get to Myrtle Beach. You can get to Charlotte. There's just so many places within driving distance for weekend trips and that. And did I say 
your post to the beach. We love going to the beach. We go every weekend, but feel free to reach out. I love talking about moving down here. I love talking about moving from a state I didn't like to a state that I really like to raise kids now. Um, also, if you're into homeschooling, my wife and I um, are homeschooling three, Hank's too young, but we're homeschooling our three school-age children. So that's a big thing in this state as well is homeschooling. So there's homeschooling co-ops. There's a bunch of homeschooling um, groups in that. So it's just, there's different options to school your, to um, educate your kids. Um, also, you can send them, there's private schools. You can also send them to different schools. There's, there's different school choice things down here. So that's something else that we can talk about as well is how to educate or different ways to educate your kids. There's wise, there's sports programs, there's everything you really need. And did I mention the weather's gorgeous? Anyways, feel free to reach out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I love talking about this stuff. I could talk about this stuff all day, but I love giving you visuals and just showing you the area. So this is Summer's Corner. Um, feel free to reach out and keep it real, y'all.